Hey guys, welcome to the Main Springer channel. I'm Parikh, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the Forlan Mari. This is the reference 2116-A, and this is one of their first automatic winding watches in their portfolio. This watch was launched as a limited production, and what Forlan Mari did was they actually had a window open for 10 days where anybody who was interested in this watch could order the watch, and they would actually ship the watch to you. And after that 10 days, the order was closed and they're not planning to make this watch anymore. Now, Forlan Mari is actually a relatively new micro brand. The company was started by two friends, Andreas Forlan, who's a designer, and Hamad Al Mari who is an artist and the ethos for their watch company stems from their passion for vintage watches particularly vintage dress watches and chronographs that really drive the aesthetic choices of their cases and their design until this watch they actually had a variety of chronograph watches that were extremely popular and this brand has been getting a lot of press and their chronograph watches were generally a Seiko powered mecha chords movement watch uh, so they weren't really a perfect automatic watch and for those of you who do not know what a mecha chords is it's essentially a quartz watch with a mechanical module for the chronograph on top of it so while the heart of the watch is really quartz when you operate the chronograph the chronograph hand moves moves very much like a manual chronograph, although it is still powered by the quartz movement. And that's what a Mecha Quartz watch is. And this watch is really a departure from the Mecha Quartz movement to using a automatic movement. The movement in here is a Le Jupere movement, and it is a 72 hour power reserve. Uh, hacking, you can wind it through the crown. This particular watch is again driven by the vintage aesthetics of watches such as vintage paddocks and a Vacheron Constantine, particularly with the horn lugs you can see. There's a brushed surface finish just right next to this really high polished surface finish and these cow horn lugs on the watch. Now, typically these sort of lugs are welded on a traditional vintage piece, but in order to keep the cost down, what these people have done is if you look on the side, you can see this shiny portion between the two lugs. And essentially that's a block of metal that has the two lugs on it. And this portion of the metal is sandwiched between the top and the bottom of the case. So it's actually not welded on there. It's just a mechanical fit as the case is assembled, but it does give the illusion of welded lugs. If you look very, very closely, you may see a tiny gap over there. It's not very clearly visible. You really have to make a lot of effort. On the dial side, you know, it's really got a nice matte black dial with these printed silver sector dial layout. And you have these 12, 3, 6, and 9 Breguet numerals and these leaf shaped hands for the hours and the minutes. So let's give this watch a quick wind. It's a pretty smooth wind watch, really good for a daily beater. The watch costs around $1,300 if you order it directly from them. There's a lot of companies that are doing, a lot of micro brands that are doing vintage aesthetic watches these days. Baltic is one brand that comes to my mind. And I'll probably put a few pictures of other watches also that have this sort of vintage aesthetic. And they're at a variety of price points depending on the movement and the level of finishing they have in those watches. A lot of them have quartz movements. Some of them have mechanical mechanical movements. These movements necessarily are not cost certified or regulated. They're, uh, you know, just basic movements. And again, depending on the level of finishing, the cost may vary. But more importantly, the fact that you can get a watch, particularly with these vintage dress aesthetics at these prices is just phenomenal. It's a great entry point for those who want that vintage aesthetic without shelling out the cost for like a Paddock or a Vacheron Constantine. And those who are not like movement snobs and don't necessarily care about a very high end movement, the Le Jupere movement is really an equivalent to a Eta or a Celita. It's just another option in the catalog for those who want to use a off the shelf movement. And I 
particularly love this watch. I was actually surprised how well it sits on the wrist. It comes with this black leather strap, but it also comes with a nice brown strap, which is beautiful and goes quite well with the watch. Let me show you what it looks like on the wrist. So here's what the watch looks like on the wrist. It's really a very nice proportion. I believe it's a 37 or 38 millimeter case. Really, really nice. I do love the aesthetics of these uh, horned lugs and the watch sits beautifully on the wrist. I kind of use this as a daily driver slash meter watch and I kind of alternate this with my Tudor Pelagos and my Tudor 925 and this is a very very nice watch to wear on a daily basis. Overall I think this is a pretty good buy. There are watches with better value out there. I think what these people do is get the aesthetics really really bang on and I cannot say this about all the other watches necessarily. Sometimes I feel like some of their proportions are a little bit off but I do not seem to uh, find that to be the case with the Ferlin Mari watches. I think they are fantastic in terms of proportion and aesthetics and absolutely one of the best out there. That's really all I had to share on this watch. Again, this is a watch that I've been sporting around for the past several months. I really like the watch. Uh, I like the weight of the watch. It is a steel watch. Pretty nice on this uh, lovely leather strap. And overall, I think one of the nicer micro brand watches out there. Now, this is not going to appreciate in price tremendously. Uh, you know, if anybody's looking for one that did not originally purchase it, I would not pay above retail at all for this watch. I mean, it is not worth it. Uh, save your money and get something else. That's more interesting. Uh, and again, their Mecca Quartz watches are priced sub, I think, $800 and are actually a really good value for money if you're just behind the design aesthetics. But yeah, let me know what you think about this watch and if any of you have actually dealt with this brand, Ferlin Mari, and how do you think it compares to some of the other micro brands? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, last but not the least, uh, you know, I am actually making this video after a big gap. I've had a lot of family challenges going on in my life because of which I have not been very consistent with making videos. I'm hoping that some of those things are behind for the good. So uh, I'm gonna try to get back to consistently making some of these videos, but thanks a lot. Those of you who have not subscribed to the channel, please do like and subscribe. Your support is extremely important for me to try and grow this channel and thanks a lot. Take care.